Hi, this is Muhammad Ali from Extrude Intrude. Welcome to another tutorial on Creo Parametric. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the Extrude feature. So let's start. Click New from the Home ribbon. Make sure that in the Type Part mode is selected. In the Name, type any name that you like. You can make an extrude in two different ways. Either you can make first a sketch and then use this sketch to make an extrude or you can um, directly extrude by making an inside sketch or using an inside sketch. So first I am going to show you how to use a sketch to make an extrude. Click sketch. Select one of the planes, sketch, sketch view, and make a simple circle. Click OK, and our sketch is complete. Now make sure that when you, when you click extrude, your sketch is selected. You can select the sketch from the model tree or you can select it from the design window like this and click extrude and the sketch will be extruded in this way you can change the dimensions dynamically like this or you can put a specific dimension by double clicking on the dimensions shown here I will type 500 inches and the dimensions will change automatically or you can uh, uh, type within the extrude window extrude ribbon the dimensions as you can see click OK and you are satisfied with the extrude Now I will delete this extrude and make another extrude feature using an inside sketch. Click extrude, select one of the planes, I select the right plane and sketch view and we will make another circle. On the center, click OK and a similar extrude is created which can be changed dynamically. Now we can create an extrude of a solid body or an extrude of a surface will be which will be an extrude uh, normal and then protruding from the sketch that you have created. We can change the name of our extrude feature which is a good design practice or if we want to change where our uh, extrude feature is on which plane we can change it from inside the sketch. Delete the plane and now select another plane. Click sketch, update or remove the, ramp, the references. Create some others that are perpendicular to each other. Click OK. And now the extrude feature is created on another plane. Similarly, we can add a taper angle to the extrude feature. Click Options in the ribbon, Extrude ribbon. And there will be an option to add taper. And as you can see, 
uh, degree of taper is created. You can dynamically move it to make the taper as you like, either inside the feature or outside, like this. Or you can type an exact degree of taper that you want. Similarly, if you want to create a hollow feature, if you want to create a hollow feature with a thickness, you can click in the ribbon as shown and type in any thickness that you want for your model. Here I type 50 and and 100 and as you can see the thickness changes respectively if we want to create an extrude with different dimensions on both sides of the sketch plane we can create such an extrude feature from the options in the ribbon menu and from the side 1 and side 2 you will have you will see the depths for the side one, which are the dimensions of the now feature, but we can add dimensions on the other side, like this, as shown. Like I type it 400, or if we want our extrude feature to have same dimensions on both sides of the plane. We can use uh, this drop down menu in the ribbon and the dimensions will become same on both sides as shown 500 and 250 on this side of the plane, sketch plane and 250 on the other side. There is another interesting extrude feature but in order to see how it properly works we will create another extrude feature click the plane at the perpendicular to the created extrude feature sketch view and we will create a spline Create like this. Click OK. Change it to surface on both sides. And like this, a surface is created from these lines. Now we change. Now we change its position so that it's visible in the model, so that it is visible to the extrude feature that we created earlier. We will add the extrude feature as you can see. From here we can change dimensions. We can change dimensions here. 300. I change the dimensions of the sketch and here like this or if we want to edit it completely we can go to edit them edit definition like this so the feature that I was talking about is this feature extrude to selected point curve plane or surface so when I select uh, when I select it, it asks me to select a surface or a plane or a point to which the extrude feature will be extruded. So I select this created spline surface, and as you can see, 
it is attached to that surface in an interesting way. Oftentimes, when we create an extrude feature, we want to cut through it to create interesting geometries and shapes. So, we create another extrude and place it in front as shown. Sketch view and we create a triangle like this of an, an arbitrary dimensions click ok and when we change dynamically the dimensions and put them inside and then from the ribbon we click remove material and as you can see it cuts through the created extrude feature that we created earlier. And as you see that how it works. Extrude feature is a very basic feature of Creo Parametric, but it is a very powerful tool and probably you will use it the most in your design. Hope you enjoyed the video.